केंद्रीय वित्त मंत्री निर्मला सीतारामनान देशाचो अर्थसंकल्प शेनवारा दीस लोकसभेन मांडलो पावसाचो सरी पडटात तसो वित्त मंत्री सीतारामनान आपल्या अर्थसंकल्पान घोषणाचो पावस तयार केल्लो कॉपरेट क्षेत्र सोडल्यार चडशा क्षेत्रान व्हडा प्रमाणान सवलती तयार करपाची घोषणा केल्यात सीतारामनान अर्थसंकल्पान सगळ्यांत चड शेती व्यवसायाचेर चड महत्व दिला शेती क्षेत्रान शेतकऱ्यांक खुबश्यो सवलती दिवपाचे आश्वासन दिला शेती शिक्षण भलायकी कौशल्य विकास आणि हेर क्षेत्रांचेर चड भर दिला गोय चेंबर ऑफ कॉमर्स ह्या गोय राज्याच्या उद्योग संघटनेन मात नाराजी उक्तायल्या केंद्रीय अर्थमंत्री निर्मला सीतारामनान दुसरे फौट अर्थसंकल्प मांडला हे फौट कॉर्पोरेट क्षेत्रान चड किद्या आसतले अशी आशा आशिल्ली मात ते जाले ना अशे जी सी सी आय चो अध्यक्ष मनोज काकुलो म्हणटा गोय पर्यटन राज्य आशिल्ल्यान गोया खातीर पर्यटन क्षेत्रान किद्या तरी खास तरतूद ना मात शिक्षण क्षेत्रान एफ डी आय गुंतवणूक करपा खातीर तरतूद केल्ल्यान शिक्षण क्षेत्रान खुबशे सवलती तयार जातले given us the wealth creators the industry as well as individuals the respect that we deserve which we hold heartily welcome tax payers charter which is supposed to be harassment fee for the tax payers is the next thing which we feel is the most welcome thing to do because as all of us know we have been having a lot of issues on this front which we are glad are going to be addressed with this uh, charter now coming to the money allocated for various sectors and how it is going to help us i would like to say that the budget whatever proposals have been put up are are not 100% to our expectations the industry was expecting much much more in the same breath i have to admit that there are a lot of things which the government has proposed which i will elaborate which is definitely going to help the economy and the industry but all this is going to be work in progress it's going to take a lot of time what we were expecting was that with some immediate decisions some immediate relief should have come to give the boost to the economy which unfortunately we did not see in this budget in the same breath i will tell you for example the money allocated to the education sector the focus on education and skill development is whole heartedly welcomed by the industry because that is something which is going to help us in the long run the next thing is the focus on entrepreneurship development which is very very important as all of us know india is among the fastest growing and which is going to have the youngest population very soon in the world a youngest educated english speaking population from that point of view the entrepreneurship development by way of this uh, cell investment proposals uh, investment proposal cell which the government is planning to help the individuals become entrepreneurs is a very very welcome sign and uh, substantial amount of funds close to about 23 27000 crores are allotted to commerce and industry for this which we welcome next is on the infrastructure in continuing with what has been done in the last couple of budgets government has proposed approximately 100 lakh crores for various infrastructure whether it is roads ports waterways whatever but it is something which we feel should be spent because last year as all of us know although the funds were allocated it was decided by the government that the spending should be restricted we hope that this does not happen this year because money needs to be spent on infrastructure which will come into rolling into the economy another thing which is commendable which the government has done is on the new economy a small thing which is going to pay big dividends is this bharat net scheme on which government proposes to spend about 6000 crores imagine all the post offices all the panchayats all the police stations everybody in the country is going to be connected via internet which is going to take us as a country to a different level which we feel is a right direction to take arthamantri nirmala sitaraman 2020 2021 varshacho arthasankalpa mandla tatun goya kitlo ani kashe taren goy sarkar phacho faydo karun ghetale he sarkaran polopak jay 
ह्या अर्थसंकल्पान फक्त नुस्तेमारी क्षेत्र सोडल्यार गोयांक फायदो चड जातलो अशें दिसना अशें अध्यक्ष काकुलो म्हणटा Unfortunately, we were expecting something specifically for Goa. We were expecting it, but unfortunately, it has not come our way, especially on the tourism front. Although there are, there is going to be money spent on museums as well as the upgradation of some new archaeological sites. <coughs> However, Goa specific, we did not find anything in the budget which we were expecting unless the fine print comes up later let's hope that she has missed out something in ready out the only thing which will help go out to an extent is the fisheries department because as per what was what has been proposed is the uh, focus on agriculture and which involves fish farming that is the only thing which we feel which is relevant to Goa at this stage. Next point is the focus and the money which is earmarked for agriculture, which is about 2.83 lakh crores. But what is the most important part is that this is going to be spent in improvising our storage facilities, our cold chain, which is going to help our farmer, farmers get good, better price for their produce. Not only that, also going to optimize their production levels.